So if you're planning to use thermal printer with ESP32 or are facing some issues while using it, well, you have clicked on the perfect video. So a couple of months back, we made a project with the help of thermal printer called as Instant Payment Slip Printer, in which we can get instant payment slip when we pay via UPI. And after that project, many of you people bought the thermal printer from our website and most of them were facing issues while using it. Not exactly for that payment slip printer project, but they were finding issues while using the thermal printer itself. So I decided to make a dedicated video about how to use the thermal printer with ESP32 and by the end of the video, I'll also cover some of the commonly made mistakes that people do while using it and due to that, they are not able to use it properly. So do watch out the video till the end to know how to use the thermal printer properly and make some amazing projects out of it. And well, I also made a project with the help of the thermal printer, which I'll be discussing in the video itself. So there are a lot of things covered in this single video. So let me just grab my thermal printer and the microcontrol board and till then you enjoy this ad. So this video is sponsored by LTM and we are all familiar with their secure collaborative design platform LTM 365. But let me tell you one of its really interesting features. So with the integration of Silicon Expert, now you can visualize all the important parameters of the components all in one place. Let me show you a quick demo. In LTM 365, just go to the manufacturing part search option. Here, you can search for any component you want to use. Just click on get data from Silicon Expert and it will pull all the crucial parameters of the components in one place. Below that, you'll also see a suggestions for alternative components along with the ratings on how well each one suits a direct replacement. Pretty interesting, right? And now if you're a student from India, well, LTM has launched LTM Student Lab where you can sign up with your university email ID to get access to LTM 365 online courses and can even get certification directly from LTM. And this will definitely help your resume to stand out and will give you a great boost in your design career. Well, I'll be linking away all the important links down to the description, so be sure to check them out. Okay, so coming back to this video. So now here we'll need an EP24 5V to 9V thermal printer and an ESP32 board. And both these products are available on our website techesms.com at the best prices. And particularly for the viewers of this video, I have put a discount coupon code on thermal printer which will be valid only till one month of publishing this video so, well if you're planning to buy a thermal printer well this is the right moment just click the link in the description enter this coupon code to get the discount and after getting both the products you need to connect them all according to this connection diagram now here make sure you provide a proper external power supply to the thermal printer ranging from 5 volt to 9 volt up to 2 amperes here I have chosen a 9 volt 2 ampere power supply which gives me best results and now after making the connection Connection, let's move over to Arduino ID and let me show you the necessary libraries required for this thermal printer. So here is my Arduino ID and here I'm using the version 2.3.2 and first of all we need to install a library so we'll go inside the library manager and here we search for thermal printer and we need to install the thermal printer library from Adafruit so here I've installed the version 1.4.1. Later, make sure the ESP32 boards package version is same, which in my case is 2.0.6. Okay, so after checking both this thing, now we are good to go to uh, test the example code. So we'll go into the files, then into examples. Then here we have Adafruit thermal printer library and here we have printer test. So this is the example code. And here what we'll do is we are using it with the help of the hardware serial, which is the serial 2 port of ESP32. So what we'll do, we'll remove this uh, software serial part remove this as well and here we'll uncomment this and here make this serial 2 okay later here I'll also comment this my serial and uncomment this serial 2 dot begin now here the printer which I'm using is working at the baud rate of 9600 so here I'll change the baud rate to 9600 you can try out with the default baud rate 19200 if that doesn't work you can change it to 9600 and try it out this is also one of the problem that people faces which is incorrect baud rate later I will comment this line because this is not required for our test project and yeah that's pretty much it after modifying this much line of code now we are good to go to upload it and test whether it, whether it works with our thermal printer or not so here I'll select the right board and com port which is already selected and now let's just hit the upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded and now let me show you what print we are getting in the thermal printer okay so as you can see uh, we are getting the print 
इनवर्स ऑन डबल हाइट ऑन राइट जस्टिफाइड सेंटर जस्टिफाइड लेफ्ट जस्टिफाइड बोल्ड टेक्स एंड लार्ज एंड मीडियम एंड ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ यू नो टेस्ट फॉन्ट्स आर बींग प्रिंटेड अलॉन्ग विद बार्क ऑन एवरीथिंग सो बेसिकली द प्रिंटर इज परफेक्टली वर्किंग बट यू ऑल विल बी लाइक इट ऑलवेज वर्क फॉर यू एंड अदर यूट्यूबर्स बट इट नेवर वर्क फॉर अर्स लाइक वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द प्रिंट एट ऑल और द प्रिंट इज नॉट एज डार्क एज इट सोन इन द वीडियो और वी आर गेटिंग सम गार वेज वैल्यूज सो दीज वर सम ऑफ द कॉमन इश्यूज दैट आई गेट टू हियर फ्रॉम द कस्टमर हू परचेज थर्मल प्रिंट परफॉर्मर्स सो नाउ लेट मी शो यू वट आर दोज कॉमन मिस्टेक दट यू मस्ट बी डूइंग सो फर्स्ट थिंग यू टू चेक इज द ई एस पी थर्टी टू बोर्ड पैकेज वर्जन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर इन द वीडियो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव अपग्रेडेड द ई एस पी थर्टी टू बोर्ड्स पैकेज वर्जन टू द लेटेस्ट वर्जन एंड इफ आई अपलोड द एक्जैक्ट सेम कोड आई एम नॉट गेटिंग द प्रिंट एट ऑल सो नंबर वन थिंग दिस थर्मल प्रिंटर डजेंट वर्क विद ऑल द बोर्ड पैकेज वर्जन सो ट्राई टू गेट द प्रीवियस ओल्डर वर्जन जस्ट लाइक टू पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स और वन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इट विल वर्क इन दीज बोर्ड पैकेज वर्जन second thing you need to check is the power supply now most of the people power it directly via the esp32 5 volt or the v in pin now definitely it will glow up in some of the cases it will also start printing but the color will be very very light and while in some of the cases it will not print at all due to the lack of proper power supply so whenever you are using the thermal printer you need to have an external power supply maybe 5 volt 2 ampere or up to 9 volt 2 ampere you can use it it will work great with 9 volt 2 ampere as we use in the video and we are getting the darkest print possible and third common mistake that people does it they don't provide common ground pane so what they do is they give the external power supply to the printer and they give rx tx pin communication from the esp32 board but the ground of esp32 and thermal printer are not common so what you do is you need to connect the ground terminal from esp32 board to the thermal printer and with that you can get the common ground and with that you can make this thermal printer work as expected so these were some of the common mistake that people does and i also gave the solution and by following all the solution you will get your required print all time every time and now as we all know how to use it why not to make a small interesting project out of it let me show you what i mean Okay, so here is the code for our project with that we made using the ESP32 board and thermal printer. It's called as token printer. In which, first of all, this board will get connected with our Wi-Fi router and it will print out the local IP address uh, on the serial monitor as well as on the printer as well. So on the thermal printer, we'll get the local IP address uh, of our ESP32 board. And later, we can connect our smartphone to the same Wi-Fi network and open that local IP address, and it will give. Give us a web page that will have a dialog box in which we can add a token number, and there will be a print button. So as soon as we click on the print button. it will start printing that token number onto a thermal printer so this is kind of a project that can be really useful in some hospitals or some uh, you know food chains where you need to give a token to the customer and need to wait till your number arrives so in that scenarios this kind of project can be really useful so we kind of try to make this project with the esp32 board and now let's test it out like how this project works so first i'll select the right board and com port and just hit the upload button Okay, so the code here is successfully uploaded, and I made the connections as I did previously. And now I'll press the reset button, and once this board is connected with Wi-Fi, it will print out the local IP address here. So here's the local IP address: one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one one seven. So now we will take our smartphone, and first of all, we'll make sure the smartphone is connected with the same Wi-Fi network on which the thermal printer is connected with. Later, we can open up the web browser, and here we'll go to the same IP address: one nine two dot one six eight dot 0.117 press enter and here we got a web page which says enter token number and we have a button as well so let's just try to enter a token number for example let's just say 555 triple 5 is the token number and later i'll just click on the print button So we got uh, this slip which says token number five five five. Please wait for your turn. So that kind of token printing can be really useful in many different scenarios. And yeah, that was all about our project. Okay, so here is the code for our project with that we made using the ESP32 board and thermal printer. It's called as token printer. In which, first of all, this board will get connected with our Wi-Fi router, and it will print out the local IP address uh, on the serial monitor. 
as well as on the printer as well. So on the thermal printer, we'll get the local IP address of our ESP32 board. And later we can connect our smartphone to the same Wi-Fi network and open that local IP address. And it will give us a web page that will have a dialog box in which we can add a token number and there will be a print button. So as soon as we click on the print button, it will start printing that token number onto a thermal printer. So this is kind of a project that can be really useful in some hospitals or some uh, you know food chains where you need to give a token to the customer and need to wait till your number arrives. So in that scenario, this kind of project can be really useful. So we kind of try to make this project with the ESP32 board. And now let's test it out like how this project works. So first I'll select the right board and COM port and just hit the upload button. Okay, so the code here is successfully uploaded and I made the connection as I did previously and now I'll press the reset button and once this board is connected with Wi-Fi, it will print out the local IP address here. So here's the local IP address 192.168.0.117. So now we will take our smartphone and first of all, we'll make sure the smartphone is connected with the same Wi-Fi network on which the thermal printer is connected with. Later, we can open up the web browser and here we'll go to the same IP address 192.168.0.117. 0.117 press enter and here we got a web page which says enter token number and we have a button as well so let's just try to enter a token number for example let's just say 555 triple five is the token number and later i'll just click on the print button got uh, this slip which says token number 555 please wait for your turn so that kind of token printing can be really useful in many different scenarios and yeah that was all about our project and with that we discussed almost all the important things that are required to use a thermal printer with the esp32 board successfully and now i hope this video found really useful to you and if this video really helped well a like button will be really appreciated and still if you think if we missed out some important things about this thermal printer where you can share your thoughts suggestions doubts queries down the comment section of this video and yeah with that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me techie sms